Belt lines, full waistband on both sides, punches are good. We got my instructions in the back. Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my commands. Touch them. Touch them up. Back up. Every story needs an antagonist. Roller Romero embraces it, and they do turn the opponent into Black Day the right time. A boy that Cruz is going to come in from the top of the head, and uh, he has no surprise. Uh, Cruz is already a Cruz control. Moving up from 135, Cruz has dropped the power. Going down, but he stays on his feet. Or he, the ability he takes to withstand all his power. And doing this kind of his trainer, Calvin Port, commented on this film. I love Chuck, but you know, Cruz is relentless. And he's going to close the gap. Six those losses, but he favors Cruz due to his weight. A lot of people thought he lost that fight. He's a Cruz, Cruz looking to drop Romero here in the first round. Romero's on his life skate. Especially with his overhand strikes and lefts. Cruz has seven first round knockouts. He's a hard guy to tie up Cruz on the inside because he's there so often. So there's that lead right It looks like he's recovered a little bit more. But I got to tell you, you don't want to get hit again. Got to stop uh, Cruz on these, but he has power. We've seen it before. But again, is this Romero Cruz going to the body, then going up top with the right. Right uppercut catches Romero. The pressure. Coming for lead left hook upstairs. Continues to batter with. So, there is question. Oh, there's another right hand by Romero Cruz. Going to the body, then going up top. Strikes. Make an opening. Create a There is no jab in heart from Romero. Salas, of course, guiding and he traps this. Cruz lands again, and Romero just trying to hold off. Would Cruz bring the power to 140 pounds? He's already locked the body as Romero, the former Judah Cup, tries to hold on now. He's, he's landing the right hand in the short arm. He doesn't really rely on the jab as much as he does getting it close. Ooh, you right touch it in. in round one, but did not go down. But Cruz, hey, you remember, he has never been down as a pro. Yeah, he's dead. That's pretty Romero has those long arms, and when he tries to exchange from the inside and the short trying to go to the body. But the arm puncher had a picture of Cruz on the pinata. Well, Cruz is going to go to the body like a... 25 years old, it's naturally going to go up and wait after they go long. Oh, great right, hook. Huh? Right up the yeah, He, he kind of got back into the game of this fight. Now he's holding on again. What did you think? Yeah. He's against me. Doing better defensively now as well. Yep. Side. And, and waiting for the right moment, and it was right there for Romero. Have you ever seen the first two rounds as we come to the underground three? They combined to land 53 punches, 39 of which were. There's a counter right hand by Cruz, blocked by Romero's score. No, the one to get left in the third round. There's a lot of work on his neck muscles and the core strength. A couple of short right hands right in front of us. Little left hook there. Beautiful. There's Romero with the counter right, lead right for the lead. Established something, but again, it's Cruz. Oh, Have you ever seen Cruz change tactics? Seems like arm punches, uh, Marlo. I know you mentioned that, but... Right. Right. You know, and there's that little child. Again, you gotta get down under Jeff. You got to get down And you know, you notice that Romero's getting under that counter hook now. Or pulling away like that. Especially so much for him. And it's funny because I remember when they asked Romero. Romero. Right hand land there. The pivot. The reset after. We close out the third round. Who's on the hunt for his first championship? I just want you to think that you need to punch with that right so you can lay him down. But you gotta be smart. Romero, the defending 140 pounds. Yeah, but it's, again, it's all true. It's led by the likes of Devin Haney, Cedrio Matias, and Teo Primo Lopez, and it's Isak's his family's fortunes, and, and bring Jackets to glory. For Isak Cruz, which again, you do any scouting, you watch Isak Cruz fight, he loves to go. Missing along the ropes. There's a shot to minute left in round number four. 
And as when Romero, Romero stays in check, and again, he's doing a fantastic job. The people are champion, people level up. I mean, I, I thought Raleigh you know, came back in the second round and you know, avoided getting hit to play as part of it as well. What's amazing is Raleigh is practicing. And again, I, Romero obviously is trying to stay at home. Now now is adapting to it, hit the body like that. So he's flinching in there, trying to counter it. Uh, but it, it's a smart move, though, because it's a nice Oh, wow. This guy makes it It's so exciting to watch. All oh, hands like that. Oh, and other punches. And the guys are doing it. It's just like Kyle Shot at 140. Here's, here's Rowley with the jab. He left it out there. He left himself open for a left hook. Here's the start well. round five for Isak Cruz. Mr. Good. You heard it. He's something that's hurt him as well. That's, that's part of it. Wouldn't have anything to do with that. Take that to the third round. Put the ground. That's a body shot by Romero. He's not letting him out so he's the goal. Right hand, left hook from Cruz. Look at that. You know, like that. He's really pretty indestructible. Concur with Joe Scorcott, but I also think he's got to hurt him once or twice. Somewhere along the way. Three to one in this fight, and there it is, 30 to 10. So three to one clip in terms of points. So Tom, and for Isak Pitbull Cruz after that's what he's going to be looking for. That's how he set the trap. But there for Cruz, left hook to the body. Romero fishing for that right uppercut. Cruz is leaning in as he's after.